Okay, here's my next installment in the grunge series. Uh, this one is called Scratch Grunge. This is a basic look. The controls here are pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, there's a lot of little scratch lines in this, so this can take some time to respond. I'm going to actually turn off background render for this. The scratch density is how many scratches there are. You can adjust the scratch width. You can scale the scratches, which is kind of interesting. The Y direction is actually the length. And the X direction would be the width, because the original line is vertically oriented. And you can randomize the scale of the lines. With this control, generate random orientations and scales for the lines with the random lines. Angle randomness is interesting. You can just dial that up and create different aspects. Sometimes you can just adjust by doing the angle start and angle ends control so they're in here too. Uh, the opacity gradient is, well, let's just look at it. I have a white with a constant interpolation and a black. And you can do some interesting things with this. Plus, this is something you can animate you can change this to continuous you can change it so it doesn't completely cut through the text anyway you can play with that I've discovered that for convenience sake that font color is usually better set up for these as a gradient the primary color I usually have set up these days as constant interpolation but it's easy to go in and just add more colors and you can change the interpolation so that they are actual gradient or like a palette so if I click on this swatch and go to constant then things become more stripey and you could do something like a little red white and blue There's an outline here. I set it up as a gradient. Let's um, get this up to actual size so you can get a closer look at it. Not the best example. Let me go back to black. And for the drop shadow, you have the same thing. You can grade your shadow. Same as this step above. But scaling is usually the best part. One of my favorite things for this because you can scale this in the Y direction and puff it out a little bit in the X direction and give this a kind of a quasi 3D standing up kind of look, which I particularly like. Anyway. Hope you find it useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.